What's up, YouTube? It's Vertix here, bringing you guys another gameplay commentary today. And today I have another improving your game video, and today it's going to be about improving your ability to predict your opponents, as you can tell by the title. And what I'm going to do first is talk about the importance of it, but first, before I get into any of it, uh, I want to let you guys know that this is not going to be a full gameplay. It was like 17 minutes long if I w did the full video. Uh, as you can see, it's only like five and a half minutes. So it's actually just different rounds from the same video or same gameplay, I guess. And every whenever I died, I basically just cut out the rest of it. And well, actually, that's not true. So never mind. I take that back. But yeah, it basically is just um, the certain rounds that I chose to do here that would be good to show for this gameplay comp topic. So as you saw off the beginning of this game, I was able to get that two piece on the guys at B. One pushed me and one was on the bomb. Uh, from my own team strategies, from other strategies I've seen in streams and things like that, from strategies against people I've played with prior to these kids, whenever they smoke the B bomb, someone is on it with Intog. Um, so after they smoked it and I got that first kill, I went for the wall bang wall bang on the bomb and I was able to hit it. It was very lucky, I'm not going to lie. There's no way, like that's not going to happen most of the time. That's a very lucky shot and I'm not even going to deny it. But I was able to, from my prior knowledge of what people do, from, you know, just logic of the game, I was able to assume someone's going to be on the bomb and I luckily was able to hit the shot. Now I was able to, I knew this guy was going to push me at water tower again. Uh, I was able to predict that just solely because I saw him run over there. So you have to just use basically what you see to improve it. I mean, that was a pretty obvious read. The next round, I read them really well. And this is going to be the one that I really want to talk to you guys about. Uh, but yeah, I basically did the same thing there. Just missed the shot on B. Uh, this next round. This next round is the one where um, I predict them really hard. And it's really funny. So... I've gone Water Tower the last two rounds. This time, I'm going to go in Tin. And this guy thinks he's adjusting to me, but I basically just adjusted to his adjustment and was able to pick him off from Tin when he tried to flank me. If I would have been over at Water Tower again, thinking they are going to do the same thing, which I knew he wasn't going to do the same thing. He's died twice from there. But if I would have been over at Water Tower again, I would have died, 100%. Uh, now here, it was just unlucky. Um... They're going to pinch me here, which is smart of them. That was good plays by them. This guy pushes from there. That guy pushes and ends up getting behind me somehow. I don't know. But yeah, that was just smart plays from them, and they ended up being able to take that round. Uh, this next round, I once again adjust to what they're going to do. I'm not going to sit back with a sniper like I have the past three defensive rounds. This time, I'm going to push up a little bit, and they're going to get me stunned, and I'm going to absolutely destroy this kid. So... Uh, this is just, I mean, the, if you switch up what you're doing, predict what your opponents are going to be doing, if they can't adjust to it, they're going to be screwed. Like, there's no way they can beat you if you're just predicting everything they're going to do or adjusting to everything you think they're going to do, uh, and they just can't do anything about it. This round, I, um, I know they're pushing across Middle Street from my teammates saying it, in this round, I stun them coming across the street. I predict this guy that's going to kill me, absolutely, but he just ends up getting the shots on me somehow. I don't know how he killed me, but he does. So now, for the last little bit of the commentary, I want to talk about how you can improve this. Uh, it's pretty short gameplay. I just threw in some different rounds here, just like I said before. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to die here. But now I want to talk about how you can possibly improve it. So, the number one way to improve any of these things I talk about in any of these videos that are, have to do with improving your game is solely to play a lot. Uh, the more you play, the more you're going to be able to improve your gun skill, the more your confidence is going to go up, the more your in-game knowledge of the, or the, your knowledge of the game is going to go up, the more your in-game decision making, they're just going to get better, and being able to predict your opponents is going to get easier because you just have these situations drilled into your head and you know what you need to do in these situations. This is the offensive round, by the way. Uh, you just have these situations drilled into your head, you know what you need to do in these situations, and uh, you start to get a lot better at it. Uh, the next tip I have for you guys is to listen, and not only to your teammates and their, and their call outs so you can predict and like pre-aim things, but listen to footsteps. People are so loud in this game, you have to crouch in order to be completely silent. It's stupid, I agree, but that's just the truth. 
Uh, so if someone's running around, just listen for them, and you can free aim a corner and get the first um, first shot off on them every time. Think about what the opponents have done prior to this and other teams at that. Uh, if you've played a team before, think about what they do, their tendencies, what they like to do on certain in certain situations. And my last um, tip is going to be to go with your gut. As you see here, um, I chose to plant the bomb. I could have second-guessed myself. I don't like planting the bomb in 1v1 situations, but I went with it and was able to get the clutch. But thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, if it helped, be sure to drop a like. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, be sure to subscribe.